to Yoga Express, your virtual stretch clinic that helps you move the body to still the mind. My name is Banu Suresh. I'm your host for this program. To my immediate left, we have Jonathan Booth. Jonathan has several dimensions to him, I know, but he's going to talk about one of his dimensions in a few weeks from now. But today is a special guest day, Ramona Mukherjee. So I'm going to focus on Ramona in just a moment. Jonathan, welcome back to the Thank show. Thank you very much. I'm we are really here. looking forward to you sharing your special martial arts skills in the next couple of weeks. So we're waiting for that. Thank you. And tell me something. How did you feel about the last couple of episodes? You missed the first one that Ramona was sharing with us a few days back. But the last couple of episodes, how did it feel? The last couple of episodes, um, first and foremost, I felt were great. So um, I thank you for your teachings a whole lot. Um, also found important the, the situations you had mentioned as far as like the way you feel from the press, stress, um, like from anxiety and everything like that, and what type of exercises to do. And as I was coming through it while you were teaching it, I did feel a difference when you was telling me to think about a situation that I've encountered that's bothering me the most, which was recently, and I was able to overcome it at the same time. What an endorsement. <laughs> I am looking forward to more of those techniques of using them, you know, and I believe that I will be in a better state. One of these is you're going to help us see the connection between your whatever martial arts thing and the Abhya Mudra that she's talking about. Yes. When you come on as our guest, you can take us through that journey. Sure. Welcome back, Jack. Ron Thomas. Ron is a producer here at Manhattan Neighborhood Network. Ron. Yes, how did it was. You feel? It was great. It was. Um, Gently cathartic, it helps to release some of your... That's a beautiful word, cathartic. That's yes. what, yeah, that's what I was looking for. Great. I hope you release some uh, pent-up feelings and emotions. Great. Right. Get away from That's how I felt. You've expressed it very well, but I felt that, too. It was very cathartic and very, uh, it did release something within us. So there were just simple gestures, but it actually made me feel very different. I actually had some kind of a blockage. I think that's what I'm looking for. And actually, I felt a release, a wonderful release. Mm -hmm. So, Lana, how did you feel? You're back, so I think that says a lot, mm -hmm. right? Well, I, I'm, I, I felt, uh, I understood it more, you know. Really. Right, right. And also, the fact that you change your socks, too. You've got different socks today. You're already a new person, a person right now. You feel me? <laughs> You're feeling very cold? I was feeling very cold, yes. <laughs> and here I was getting all poetic, saying Lana is feeling like a new person. But you do, I mean, not just you. We all did feel something. So I think it was very effective. So thank you. Ramona Mukherjee, Ramona, psychotherapist, yoga teacher, and traditional hypnotherapist and dancer. Ramona, oh, before we move on, before Ramona says anything at all, thank you, Josiane, once again, for keeping us in check, for making sure that today's episode will air, will get taped on time and air as scheduled. These episodes are taped at Manhattan Neighborhood Network. We air five days a week. We tape on average once at the most twice a week these days. We air Monday through Friday, 1.30 in the afternoon, time 157, RCN 84, Files 35. Thanks to Malik Parker and Richard Swanson as well for the studio lights and the setting right here. Ramona, what do you have planned for us? We were hoping you could do a kind of a recap of the last three episodes because they were great. I'm going to see the... Yeah, yeah, do all those... Yeah, so today questions. what we'll do is remain seated and because the idea is with any of these practices, as with anything, it's the same with yoga. Right. It's the same whether it's meditation, whether it's uh, you know lifting weights. Mm -hmm. It's a practice. We have to do it. It's the repetition that brings us um, into deeper subtlety and awareness and understanding. Um, and with each of those things, there's a greater impact. So as we practice the same sort of sequence, over and over again. Each time we do it, we go into it a little bit more deeply and we can move that much more. Absolutely. Yeah. So I'm what I'd like to do, well, over the last uh, couple of times that I've been here, we've talked about a sequence for increasing concentration to help us get into focus for those times when we're 
a little spacey. Oh, <laughs> we, yeah. we, we all know about those times. I know that very well. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll, do, we'll run through that. We'll do the second one, which is for those times when we're feeling very overwhelmed with anxious, nervous, or fearful thoughts. Right. Um, and then the last one, the last sequence is for those times when we feel down and kind of gloomy or depressed. So the first one is for anxiety. First one is for concentration. Sorry, first one is for concentration. See, I needed that yeah. already. <laughs> first one's for concentration. Second one is for anxiety. anxiety. And the third one for depression. That's right. Wonderful. We're looking forward to it. Yeah. So we'll start. First one, everyone can find a comfortable seat. So whatever that is for you. I find that it's often helpful to have a block or some sort of prop. Sorry, it's all yours. <laughs> For some people, it's easier. Don't if pull you it feel, out. <laughs> uh, if you feel that your knees can handle it, you can also sit in this position if you find that comfortable. My knees can't. I don't think my ankles can. I don't mean, you want them all very flexible. See, most people touch them around. All right. I mean, I mean, when I sit like this, it feels comfortable. All right. But Here, sit on that. <laughs> yeah, which, you got um, me. Right. So it is, I, I stress, and I'm taking the time to find our comfortable seat because we'll be seated for a long time, mm -hmm. and so it's important but it's that okay we are to change positions. Absolutely. Oh. So throughout the, throughout the sequences, if at any moment your knees start to hurt or your hips start to hurt, you can make adjustments. Okay. So we're starting the first one for increasing con concentration. And those times when you're at work and you're finding yourself having trouble drafting that email or whatever it is, can start by bringing the palms of your hands together. Let the fingertips peel away from each other. Let your hands rest right in front of your heart and let your elbows spread out. So there's this engagement of the forearms. There's a lot of flexibility in your uh, wrists. And for everyone, we want to make sure that our shoulders are relaxed. So if you're finding that your shoulders are tense, like Ron, your shoulders look a little bit tense, go ahead and release them. You can roll them up towards your ears and exhale them down, back behind you. And so you can do that as needed until you find yourself still and relaxed. I have but, tension in my shoulders now. Yeah. So this is good for that. It's a practice. I feel it in the wrists. You feel it in the wrists. Let the fingertips pull away from each other. There's a lot of heat and a lot of sensation there. And everyone, take a big breath in. And a big breath out. And now bring your fingertips together. Let the palms peel away from each other. Hakini Mudra. Here we have space between our hands. You can let your eyes close or send your gaze into that space between your hands. And everyone take a big breath in. And a big breath out. Here we are balancing the right and left hemispheres of the brain. And so there's a great centering that happens. Come to focus. We channel and cultivate mental clarity with this pose. And now everyone bring your palms together, hands in Anjali Mudra. This is the mudra for a, typically a salutation. You're going to bring your thumbs right into the inside like of the bridge of the nose. So right where the eyebrows meet the nose. There's acupressure points here and we stimulate them with the tips of our thumbs gently pressing into our pituitary gland, the center for the pituitary gland. And everyone take a breath in and a breath out. Beautiful. And then release your hands. So your Anjali Mudra in front of your heart, and you're going to reach your arms out by your sides, inhaling up, just like in sun salutation. Palms meet above your head, and as you exhale, release it down in the center. Two more times just like that. Inhale, reaching out to the side. Down the center. And then 
spreading your arms out to the sides, we might need to stagger a little bit. So this is, <laughs> this is a kundalini pose. Kundalini sort of flight. <laughs> would kundalini feel, like, light. Kundalini that's right. light, that's what it was. <laughs> kundalini light and flight. So you might feel your wings flapping. You might feel like you can fly. You want to circle very small and fast circles. This is great stimulation for the nervous system. Breathing and noticing the heat as it generates. Good thing I have long sleeves. My bingo wings are not visible. <laughs> <laughs> and keep breathing. And this also rises the heart rate, right? So you can actually feel it in your heart, so it's nice. A nice way to bring up the heart rate. Some cardio. Yeah. Keep breathing. And everyone take another breath in. And as you exhale, slow it down. Let your left hand rest on your heart. Right hand in Gyan Mudra, index finger and thumb touching. Release your elbow down, the fingers are raised up towards the sky. This is a very meditative pose. That's right, Ron. So you find yourself getting sleepy. <laughs> and that means you're relaxed. Let your eyes close. And we close this sequence with this very inward and meditative stance. Our left hand is on our heart. We activate the heart center. In Gyan Mudra, we activate mental clarity, knowledge. And so whenever we're feeling out of focus, we want to come back to center. We want to come back to clarity. And any one of the movements of this sequence can bring us to that clarity. And of course, to practice this sequence, we can start to exist in a set, in a state of greater clarity more often. So when you feel ready, Everyone's looking so nice and peaceful. I'm looking around the room. But when you feel ready, you can let your eyes gently open and release your hands into your back. So the second segment. The second segment. Okay. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> the second segment. Did anyone, any comment on how anyone's feeling? Yes, I felt my transcendental meditation. You felt transcendental meditation. That's good. That's a good way it's to a great, And it's a great recap. I think the second time around, it makes even more sense. Good. Especially when we know what to expect next. Yeah. Oh, it feels great. It starts to become a practice. So this next sequence, and do you want the block? Are you, oh, okay. I'll take turns. No, I'll sit in yeah. this way for some time. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so this, the next sequence is a, the I'll sequence for fearful and anxious thoughts. So uh, oftentimes when there's something going on in our lives, whether it's a big deadline at work, whether it's a relationship conflict, whether it's... Yeah, the debt. Debt, yeah. financial stress, yes. <laughs> Whatever it might be, these things... It won't help you repay the debts, but you won't <laughs> worry about it anymore. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but you might find the clarity to create a to solution. Ignore it. Oh, yeah. well. <laughs> Actually, to create a solution. Ideally, <laughs> right. To create a solution so that you can find the money to manage yeah. that debt. Either way, the anxiety, usually what happens is when we feel anxious, we can't think clearly right. at all. That's so we want to neutralize that anxiety so that we can meet any situation at our fullest potential in a very resourceful state. When we're resourceful, there's great freedom. So we're going to start. This one we start. Your, everyone's going to take their right palm facing out, left palm facing in. Your fingers connect, and then you clasp them in. Relax your thumbs, and make sure your shoulders are relaxed. So, Ron, I see you up here. Make sure your I'm shoulders are relaxed. Yeah. Down. And what you want to do is actually pull the fingers away. So they're locked in this tight, tight knot. And this tight knot is is very literal, it's an energetic knot that we're creating, but you can also imagine whatever that anxious issue is, that thing that makes you feel tight and pent up, imagine it in between your hands. And imagine that your hands are locked, it's that feeling that you have when you're anxious is that you're locked in something, wow. right? Very symbolic. Yeah. And so what we want is freedom. So you're pulling your hands. My hands are literally trembling. I'm pulling so hard until finally my hands release and my fingers start to spark. 
So we're oh. sparking our fingertips. Fingertips out in front of you, sparking fast, quickly. We're drawing all of that anxious energy into our hands, drawing it out from our center, out, right? And then we turn our palms up towards the ceiling. This is activating and utilizing different muscles is why it shifts it ever so slightly and now palms facing down. And it might get harder. You might find your hands are getting My tired, wrist, your yeah. forearms are getting tired, and it feels hard to do it, but keep going, keep going. Take a big breath in. And then as you exhale, bring your palms so that they're facing each other, resting right in front of your heart. They're not actually touching, so there's space in between your hands. Your fingertips or palms are not touching. But you might feel an intense a really lovely tingling magnetic heat kind of sensation. Quick question. Yes. Is it true so the human body, what we call aura, is it true that there are all magnetic waves around the body? Is that what they're feeling? Yes. Absolutely. And so these little practices also help us to expand out of our physical human body and into sort of the auras, astral, akashic, astral, yeah. astral, all of those fields, yeah. I always wondered what was astral body. Yeah, this is what you're feeling. And then we're going to bring both hands to Gyan Mudra, index finger and thumbs touching, the left palm faces up, right palm faces down. And we draw as if we're drawing a line, pulling a thread right along our center. And we land first in Vitarka Mudra, which is the mudra for wisdom. So we cultivate wisdom in our center. Wisdom helps to counter those sort of short-circuited anxious thoughts. And now draw it even longer, and then release the fingers. And release the right hand down by your side. Right. And then you're gonna bring the right palm facing forward, fingers lifted. So, Lana, you want to switch sides, other hand. Mm -hmm. Left palm is facing down, the fingers are, are dropping down. This right hand is called Apeya Brava. Apeya Brava, this is the Apeya Brava. That's right, excellent. Fearless, okay. this is a fearless, fearless pose. So when we're countering fear, we want to take a fearless stance. Right. So somebody's insulting you or annoying you or something like that. Right. Right, so there's some ways where these are very intuitive, right? When someone is attacking us, it's very natural to say, yeah. right, stop. Stop. Uh -huh. But we also, when we say stop, we're, we're chiming into that part of ourselves that stands up. This is also both hands together. A lot of the mythological gods in India, they yeah. show their hands this way. Yeah. So, so this is for blessing. This one is said to be giving blessing. And I think um, my understanding or interpretation is that you know there's a great uh, blessing and courage you know, to give someone the courage to, uh, uh, one of the bless best blessings you can give someone, right, is the courage to move through right. okay. life experience. So the blessing from the gods is this, it's courage. So now what we'll do is take our left hand, and you're going to make a slice right along your side, up above your head, and then release it down. Bring the left hand palm facing forward to center, and then do it to the right side. Right hand goes down, comes up, goes down. So we kind of spread, again, spreading that fearlessness into our space, the space around us. And then to the right side, down, up, and back to center. You bring both hands, palms touching, and we're going to extend the right hand out to the side. Left hand goes up above our head, and then down. The hands clap, and the left hand sends out to the left side, right hand up, and down. again. Right hand out to the side, left hand up, and down, and clap. 
left hand out to the side, right hand goes up. And down. And clap. And then we bring our hands, prayer at our heart. Everyone can take a moment and let your eyes close. Take a big breath in. And a big breath out. And when you feel ready, you can release your hands and your left. Let your eyes gently open. We're going to go to the third segment. And the third segment. I can't yes. wait, but I was waiting to also give you that. We're sharing the block. <laughs> yeah. Anyone, would you like the block this time? I got one. No, oh, you got one? All right. <laughs> okay, so the final one, and this one we're going to want, we want to uh, make sure we're a little bit staggered because we're going to be moving our arms around, so. All right, Jonathan, don't wet me. <laughs> and so this final sequence is a sequence for depressive. Oh, so you're okay. Yeah, you want me to come forward? Oh, um, no, can, what do you think? Is that space um, enough? I think it's space She's enough. Not, okay. Yeah, it'll be fine, and maybe I'll come. Um, so for depressive or gloomy thoughts, so oftentimes when we have conflict, uh, maybe there's some, someone we're in an argument with, we were talking about that, yes. right? right? Sometimes conflicts at work, conflicts with our supervisors, whatever it might be, when we have conflict, we can feel a little down, we can feel right. clouded by this gloomy feeling. And so this is a sequence for depression to help move that feeling. We start by bringing our index fingers and our thumbs together and creating this sort of triangle, almond shape. And then you're going to place your hands right on the, your lower belly. This is the center for the second chakra, which is our emotional center. And then you're going to begin by first imagining that thing that might be causing you to feel the blues. So just imagine that. And then as you breathe in, your belly inflates like a balloon. And as you breathe out, the balloon deflates. And then on your next breath in, as you inflate the balloon, your hands begin to expand out. And as you breathe out, they descend softly. And breathing again, your hands expand out even wider. And as you exhale, they descend a little softer. Next breath in, expanding your arms out even wider. It's like with each breath, this balloon, kind of like a beach ball almost, grows bigger. And you might actually feel the sensation of your hands. You actually feel like they're holding a ball. Pretty soon you find that your hands are at shoulder length, shoulder height. And there's this weightlessness to your arms, but they're engaged at the same time. Great. And then turn your palms up towards the ceiling, spread your arms out. We're inhaling all this light and then spreading it out gathering it now into our heart center. And then you take your right arm, cross it across the left, and we spread it out again like we're spreading stars, right? Around your head, out to the right, back to center. So the left hand goes out to the right, all the way around the head, to the left, and to center. One more time, the right arm extends to the left, around the head, to the right, and to center. The left arm goes to the right, around the head, to the left, and to center. And we acknowledge the floor, the ground, the earth, around the head, back to center, again. Acknowledging so many planes, right? There's so many levels. Acknowledging the earth, acknowledging the heavens. <laughs> and then we rest in Buddha Mudra. So for the women, we want our left hand to be closer to the heart. For the men, you want your right hand to be closer to the heart. Thumbs press gently against each other. And this is a moment where we sit in gratitude. Because no matter what 
conflict we might be dealing with, there's always, always something, our health, our family, this moment, and we can be grateful for it. So we sit in gratitude, a universal sense of gratitude. And then we bring that gratitude within by placing our left hand on our heart, right palm on the third eye chakra. Let your eyes close. Take a deep breath in. And a big breath out. And as you feel ready, you can release your hands down into your lap, palms facing up. how you feel. It's amazing. <laughs> that was a wonderful episode. We had the credits rolling so while they're still rolling, I'd like to acknowledge Ron Thomas, Lana Parr, Jonathan Booth, and our special guest, Ramona Mukherjee, on behalf of all of us right here, including Josie and Hurd, our director, Malik Parker, and Richard Swanson, our facilitators. This is Van Suresh signing off. You are watching. Yoga Express. I think you can feel the calmness in my voice. I don't have that <laughs> punch right now, but this this is what I need. It feels amazing. La, Ron has, the, his body language says it all. He's totally relaxed. <laughs> yeah. And look at his body language, too. He's yeah. totally relaxed, That's too. Right. Lana, how do you feel? <laughs> feels good, right? Very relaxed. I think something also about the tone of your voice, too. It's very calming. Mm. So it actually calms us down. You're using hypnosis. <laughs> it is true. There, that, there, oh, there is a little hypnosis. That's right. That's right. It's all in the tones and the languages. So. Josiane, I hope you've been practicing over there in the back with us. Feel free to say that on the uh, mic. We want your voice on, on the tape. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. It's been it's a pleasure. Thank pleasure. you. For those of you who want to stay in touch with Ramona, Josiane, if you have a chance, one more time. And in case Josiane's not able to get it up, would you call out your website one more time? Yes, absolutely. So it's www.therapytoevolve.com. Those who have difficulty spelling, T-H-E-R-A-P-Y-T-O-E-V-O-L-V-E.com. You've got the credits right there on the screen at the bottom <laughs> left. So that's good. Oh, I see. That's okay. You can always come here, Lana. You're always welcome. This is more for viewers who are oh, not oh, able to come here. It's more for our viewers, but you're always welcome. You can also, for those of you who are watching us and probably practicing with us at home, you're also welcome to come stretch with us. We tape once a week on average. We, sometimes it's twice a week. And we bring amazing guests like Ramona. <laughs> so, Ramona, now we need...